What is up, my big Patriot cats? What are we doing? Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Look, I got I got my black conservative friend here. I'm, I'm going to post a link to this video. It's on YouTube. I saw this and I want him to do as much talking as possible. But of course, I will, you know, be bop in. If you could, for the algorithm, it helps if you like it, subscribe it and share it. And please also follow Black Conservative Perspective, too. All right, let's get into this one, right? And if it is, I would like to offer a prayer. <laughs> Dear Heavenly Father, please make old white men bigger so I can stop being obsessed with black men and stop hating and finding ways to demonize us and make us the bad guy. Please let your women actually be satisfied so they don't run to our brothers to fix the mess that you started and you couldn't finish. Please let them feel what it feels like to satisfy their woman, good Lord. Please, Father God, so they can stop harassing us and be obsessed with us. In Jesus' name, amen. You All right, guys, saying? so we got to do a follow up video uh, to the controversy surrounding Scott Adams. OK, and this is huge right now. It is blowing up everywhere. It's above my pay grade. But Scott Adams pulled the rug out. He probably committed Dilbert suicide, but he pulled the rug out and he did it, I think, because he cares. Now, there's going to be opinions left or right. You guys are going to drop comments like you're going to tell me that I agree with him. And all I can say is I agree with the technique because this needs to be talked about. It needs to be solved. So maybe one side's wrong, the other side's wrong, but it's best if we keep, you know, the two sides talking and get this settled. Okay. Um, because he made comments that a lot of people don't like. Okay. He basically said his piece as a white man. In regards to a lot of the racial tensions that are happening in this country, okay? He says that, hey, you know, I am tired of trying to help people or to live with people. Remember the 90s? Your computer could suddenly Sorry correct spelling book. mistakes. I that apologize. was who seemed to don't like me, okay? That is what he said, okay? Citing a poll that showed that almost 50% of black people uh either don't think it's okay to be white or don't know if it's okay to be white what he was also doing was it was basically more of a split okay if you took two-thirds all right so it was like 53 percent was like okay white people are okay but then there was like a a, a 27 and a um like a, a 21 or something or a 32 and a 17 but he he focused on if you can't answer the poll then you're probably going to be siding with you don't know, like white people so that's how he kind of got it to the 50 50. now i got to tell you something if you don't know if it's okay to be white to me again that that does sound like hatred right or if you think that is not okay to be white right uh because again if you put the shoe on the other foot and you did a poll and you ask white people do you think it's okay to be black and you know nearly half of them said they either don't know or they don't think that it's okay to be black what do you think the response would be right see that's what i'm saying so uh, and believe me i'm reacting to this as i'm seeing it i follow bcp and i love bcp and i love you know van over at the family um just keep going the response would be oh this is hate right this is hate and bigotry but again when a white man says his piece right uh obviously that's a problem okay when everybody else says there's peace it's not a problem right it's just social justice it's equality that's kind of how it works and videos like this are proof okay as we have uh liberal black women right who are going to get upset and go off on a racialized i mean let's be real racist rant uh against white people because scott adams basically <laughs> spoke his truth so i want to react to it and i just want to say that a member of my patreon of the patreon group uh sent me this and if you guys want to subscribe to my patreon the link is in the description below i usually don't really promote it like that but somebody who is described um uh, subscribed as a patron who supports the channel uh sent me this so without further ado let's go ahead and get into it and this is probably going to be hard to hear but in my opinion i think one of the things that scott adams did was he put the crumbles out there for all of us to see what you're about to see. 
and to see that it's okay to do this. And there's plenty of other videos out there, but we're going to get into it. I don't want to keep your time too much, and I'm going to blast this where I can. And again, love you patriots, because patriots lift up patriots. And like, subscri subscribe, and share to me, please. In dumb news, let me get into this. <laughs> yeah, so from the get-go, in dumb C-word news, in dumb racial slur news, again, this is what the wokes are allowed to get, get away with, okay? This is what they're allowed to get away with. A recent episode of Real Coffee with Scott Adams podcast, pro-Trump Dilbert creator Scott Adams. <laughs> what is being pro-Trump has to do with anything? Has nothing to do with nothing, right? Told white people to get the hell away from black people. Take a look. If you know, nearly half of all blacks uh, are not okay with white people, according to this poll, not according to me, he already just said, according to this poll. All right. Now what I'm going to, what I, this was, this was the biggest thing I got out of this. If, if a red talks about a blue or a blue talks about a red, that's one thing. If mainstream media picks it up and blasts it out there, that's one thing. And I don't, I don't like that. And they politicize it. But now, now you have... Rasmussen, which is supposedly very, very, very like accurate and dependable, you have Rasmussen who puts this poll out, and I believe that causes civil disruption right there. So I believe that they're they're not supposed to do this. I don't think this was right for the place that's supposed to be non-bias puts a poll out about race. And what do you expect to happen? So a white man picks that poll apart and speaks his truth, just like, you know, uh, BCP saying, and I have to agree with him. You know, I love my brothers and sisters and I need my brothers and sisters to love me back. White, black, red, tan, green. I don't care. They could be Martians. According to this poll, uh, that's a hate group. That's a hate group. And I don't want to have anything to do with them. And I would say, you know, based on the current way things are going, the best advice I would give to white people is to get the hell away from black people. Now, here's the thing. Um, I don't necessarily agree with his suggestion, but in the context of what he's saying with the qualifier, if that is true, if nearly half of black people don't think it's okay to be white or don't know if it's okay to be white, then... I don't think that his conclusion is all that controversial if that is true, right? I don't agree with it, but again, I don't think it's that controversial considering the qualifier that he put at the beginning of that statement. But again, you know, people don't really understand nuance, okay? And and, and they want to get outraged by this because, again, this is a white man speaking his piece. The white man can't speak his piece, not on racial issues. See, so there you go. So, I, like I said, I'm going to put that uh, comment... And I suggest you follow uh, uh, B, uh, BCP and Scott Adams. All right, you should you should see where he's at. A lot of things I don't agree with Scott Adams, but here's what he did, and I think he sacrificed his comic. Is he needed this? This was this was the the flare gun shot that just went up for the United States to see the hypocrisy. So. Take it for what you will. Go go watch the whole thing. Uh, I definitely love you guys. Um, I'm always happy to try to share my love with you. And if you could, like, subscribe, share to me. And drop some comments down below on what you think uh, about this whole situation. I'm anxious to see what you're thinking. All right, man. Goodbye. God bless. And kiss. Love. Hug a veteran. They do it for you. They're doing it for you. They die for you.